Hello everybody. Welcome to standard 8 mathematics class. Sorry, welcome standard 8 physics class. In this video lecture we study about heat heat transfer which is in chapter 6. In this chapter we will study about evaporation and boiling, thermal expansion and its types, expansion of solid liquid and gases. First of all, we discuss about evaporation and boiling. Evaporation and boiling. So, let us define evaporation. Evaporation Evaporation is the change of state of a substance from liquid to vapor at any temperature below its boiling point. It is very important. At any temperature below its boiling point, evaporation is the change of state of substance from liquid to vapor at any temperature below its boiling point. All the molecules of liquid are in the state of motion and they keep heating with each other. The molecules present on the surface of the liquid have fewer molecules around them and hence they feel weak forces of attraction. Than the molecules present in the bulk of the liquids. Thus, they need lesser energy to escape as vapor. Thus, in the process of evaporation, even at room temperature, the surface molecule gain enough energy, they gain sufficient energy to overcome the attraction of other molecules and can leave the liquid as vapor. The bulk molecules do not get enough energy. So the process of evaporation occurs at the surface only. The molecules are moving at slower speed at room temperature. At room temperature the molecules of liquid move with slower speed but with the increase in temperature the speed of the molecule increases thereby increasing the rate of evaporation. When the temperature of the molecule increases, they get the sufficient kinetic energy to by getting temperature, their kinetic energy increases, the kinetic energy of the molecules increases, hence the speed of the molecules increases, thereby increasing the rate of evaporation. When the molecule moves at a greater speed, the rate of evaporation also increases. Thus, evaporation takes place with varying degrees. The factors affecting the rate of evaporation are temperature, surface area, movement of air, and humidity. Temperature. When the temperature increases, the rate of evaporation also increases. Surface area larger the exposed surface area faster is the rate of evaporation movement of air with the increase in the movement of air or wind the rate of evaporation increases it means that when the wind speed increases rate of evaporation increases humidity with the increase in humidity the rate of evaporation decreases these are the factors which affects evaporation which affects the rate of evaporation in the process of evaporation the particles present at the surface of the liquid escape and form gas other particles present inside the liquid do not have enough energy so the process of evaporation occurs at the surface only now boiling rapid change of state from liquid to vapor at a constant temperature by, absorb, by absorption of heat energy is known as boiling. The temperature at which a liquid changes into gaseous state is called the boiling point of the liquid. For example, boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. When the liquid boils, all the particles of the liquid are 
at the same temperature and are equally involved in the process. It takes place in the entire volume of the liquid, not just at the surface. Now let us discuss about the difference between boiling and evaporation. In both the process, the state of matter changes from liquid to gas, thereby they are very different from each other. Still they are different from each other. Boiling occurs at fixed temperature. Evaporation occurs at any temperature below its boiling point. Temperature remains constant during boiling. Temperature may change during evaporation. Boiling takes place throughout the liquid. Evaporation takes place only at the surf exposed surface of the liquid. Boiling bubbles are formed during boiling bubbles are formed. But during evaporation bubbles do not form. Boiling is a fast and vigorous process, whereas evaporation is a quiet and slow process. These are the differences between boiling and evaporation. Now we discuss about thermal expansion and its types. Thermal expansion is the tendency of matter to change in length, area or volume in response to a change in temperature. Most of the substances expand on heating and contract on cooling. You know it very well. The rise in temperature due to heating increases the energy of atoms as a result of which the average distance between the atoms increases. So the matter as a whole increases in length, area or volume. So let us perform an activity to demonstrate the process of thermal expansion. Requirement a ball and ring apparatus, a glass of water, and a candle. Okay, first take a ball and ring apparatus and pass the ball through the ring. Now, hit the ball in the second step, hit the ball for approximately a minute on the candle. Now, try to push the ball through the ring. In the first case, when the metal ball is allowed to pass through the ring, the ball passes through the ring easily. In the second step, when we hit the metal ball for some times and try to pass the ball through the ring, the ball does not pass through the ring. Now, next pull the ball in a glass of water to cool it down. Try to pass the ball through the ring again. After cooling the metal ball, when we again try to pass the ball through the ring, the ball easily passes through the ring again because so what do you conclude? On hitting the ball expands and is not able to pass through the ring. This demonstrates the process of thermal expansion. When a metal pieces, a metal body is heated, thermal expansion occurs in it. After dipping the ball in water or in cooling, in simple words, on cooling, the ball contracts and is capable of passing through the ring. So we conclude from this experiment that when heat is supplied to a metal body, it expands and when it is cooled, it contracts. Now types of thermal expansion. There are three types of thermal expansion. One is a linear expansion, superficial expansion, and third one is volume expansion. First of all, let us begin this topic by discussing about linear expansion. Linear thermal expansion. Linear expansion of matter in length is called linear expansion. Increase in the length of metallic wire or a metal rod on heating are example of thermal expansion. Let us demonstrate. Let us perform the activity to understand the process of linear expansion. Requirements are a copper rod, two wooden blocks and three Bunsen burner. Proceed.
places here fix the wooden blocks and the copper rod are shown mark the length of the rod on the wooden block as the initial length heat the rod by placing three burners at equal distance from each other these are three bunsen burners which are placed equal distance from each other now what do we observe after some times after heating the metal rod for some times we observe that we notice that the length of the iron exceeded the mark on the wooden block too so we conclude that the rod has increased in length on heating this shows the process of linear expansion not superficial expansion expansion of matter in two dimension is known as superficial expansion it means that increase in area of metal sphere metal sir metal sheet on heating is an example of superficial expansion <coughs> let us demonstrate this example to understand it we need a copper sheet a stand and a nail a bunsen burner and a hammer first make a hole in the copper sheet in this copper sheet make a hole using the thin nail and hammer try to pass the thicker nail through the hole okay fix the tripod stand and the burner place the copper sheet on the tripod stand so that the flame is fixed at the center of the hole on the copper sheet heat the copper sheet for at least 5 minutes try and pass the thick nail again through the hole what you will observe the thicker nail easily passes through the hole after heating the copper sheet so what do you conclude from it on heating the area of the hole increases this demonstrates the process of superficial expansion it means that the area of the hole increases now volume thermal expansion this is the third type of thermal expansion is the volume thermal expansion expansion of the volume of matter is known as volume expansion increase in volume when a liquid or a gas or solid is heated is an example of volume expansion activity to demonstrate the process of volume expansion requirement s ketchup bottle a balloon some small stone or sand a burner a top fill with water first what we have to do our procedure put some small stone or sand in the ketchup bottle to make it heavy and prevent it from floating when dipped in water take the balloon and stretch it on the top of the ketchup bottle dip the bottle in the filled with water heat the water in the top we observe after some time the balloon begins to expand so conclusion so we conclude from this above activity that on heating air present or gas present in the ketchup bottle expands so due to this the balloon begins to expand this activity demonstrate demonstrates the process of volume expansion so in the next video lecture we discuss about expansion of solid liquid and gases so thank you very much for watching my video